In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can fix Fortnite from crashing on PC. By the way, just today I released a brand new video showing you how you can get less input delay, so therefore make sure to check it out afterwards. So guys, in 41st method, what I want you to do is basically launch your Epic Games launcher. And once we're on here, we're going to click onto our name here and click onto settings, guys, yeah? And once we're in here, we can already see here now we have languages, preferences, but we're going to scroll all the way down here, guys, on the right side until we can find Fortnite, yeah? And we're going to click onto it and make sure that additional comment line arguments are actually enabled. I already have a bunch in here, guys, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to delete it to make it like easier for you to see what we're going to actually add. Since Fortnite status tweeted that you can actually paste the following launch comment into your Epic Games launcher itself, to force the game to launch in performance mode, which already fixed it for a ton of people if they can't access Fortnite at all. Even though if you have performance mode already enabled in your normal source settings, launching it through this one basically launches it in a second method, which is going to help you out. So therefore we have here now this comment, which I'm going to put in description and we're going to place it in here guys and just simply close this, then go back into settings. And what you can do then is again, go back here and also make sure that it's actually saved here. It's called feature level. And then we have ES31 guys, super easy. Make sure that it's enabled and then you can launch into Fortnite and it should already be fixed for a ton of people. Then this next step guys, what we're going to do is press our Windows key plus R until we open up here the run command. And in there, we're going to type presenter temp presenter and click onto OK guys. Once we're in here, we're going to click here back onto local on the top, press F on our keyboard until we can find Fortnite game, go into saved, go into config, and there we now have crash report client. You're going to open this up guys. And in here, we basically have all the informations about previous crashes. And for some people, it can already fix it if you delete all the data in here. It's basically like temporary data, which can somehow interrupt with your current game files and Fortnite doesn't know, okay, is it now actually working? Is the game fixed or not? And basically deleting this can already fix this issue. What can also help for a ton of other people is guys, that if you actually delete your game user settings, but keep in mind every single setting which you have right now in Fortnite is going to get resetted, except your aim sense. So therefore, yeah, build binds, aim sense, stuff like that is going to still be in there but basically all the graphics changes or maybe even a switch resolution, this is all going to get lost. So therefore, please make sure to actually make like a direct copy, you know, just simply go in here, copy this whole entire game user settings itself. Then you can basically delete the file, launch Fortnite and place it again in there. So you keep everything just as it should be, but with a brand new game user settings file itself. And by the way, guys, huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is actually no pain, guys. And I know it's a sponsor, but I genuinely use this program every single day. It can help me to boost my FPS, reduce my input delay, and also find the server in my near for the least amount of input delay. So therefore, guys, it's something like seven bucks per month, which is kind of like a McDonald's meal. Would you rather go once a month to McDonald's or actually have advantage in every single competitive games you guys want to play. I mean, just this input delay reduce mode is as good as the take your mode on Wooting keyboard. So therefore, guys, please make sure to check it out. You can also get 20% off with the link in the description and you can pay super easy via PayPal or whatever you guys want to pay with. And with that said, we're basically done. Here. For the final step, guys, what I want you to do is go into your Windows search bar, type in File Explorer until you have this window here. Make sure that you actually selected this PC. Yeah, sometimes it's like on something else or like the recent whatever. Make sure to click onto it, go into local desk, then you're going to go into program files. Then you should find Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game. And then we have here binaries, guys. Then Windows 64. And once we're in here, guys, we now have BattleEye and Easy Anti-Cheat. And what you guys want to do is first of all, click onto Easy Anti-Cheat. Go onto Easy Anti-Cheat Setup Exa. Click onto Yes. And then you can see current game 217, which is Fortnite. And you go, go onto Repair Servers. And you can see now it's basically reinstalling the easy anti-cheat, which can cause for a lot of people the game to actually crash on start or crash on launch. So therefore, guys, make sure that you actually did this once. Click on the finish. Then you're already done. Then you can also go to BattleEye itself, guys, and make sure to uninstall BattleEye.bat. Just simply click onto it once. Would you like to uninstall the BattleEye service from your PC? I, of course, don't want to do it. But after you did it, guys, you can go here back onto install and actually go through the whole entire installation process again and you also reinstall it on your PC. It's literally that easy, guys. Then just simply restart it, and yeah, you should be good to go. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace.